Well, hello there, everybody. Dre here, and welcome back to my shop of rustiness. Today, we're going to get out there once again and hopefully earn some money and remember to record our voice this time because I'm an idiot. Sorry, foreshadowing. I'm a little salty today. I learned five minutes ago that I spent all yesterday recording six hours, to be more specific. And, well, my, my, my mic track was muted. So you might be wondering, oh, what's this special new door? Well, this is what we did in the episode that you guys didn't get to see. It was my hardest episode yet. We have the repair table now. We also have this really freaking cool machine, the brake lathe. Oh, I, I guess we actually have two repair tables. I didn't even know that. Is this... Okay, why, why do we need so many repair tables? There's only one person here. Anyways, yes, you uh, unfortunately missed an episode due to my stupidity. Uh, I can't revert the save and go back. So, uh, yeah, we're just going to move on and pretend that you guys enjoyed it and hit that like button because... Uh, I'm, I'm really sad I wasted a whole day recording for pretty much nothing, except myself, talking to myself. So yeah, a little update. I'm going up to rep the repair list now because repairing is amazing in this game. You'll see that in this episode. I also got a few unlocks, more specifically the garage expansion and repair table. I'm um, sorry. No, that's that's a salvage table. We saw the repair table earlier. I don't think I got any other tools. My goal, hopefully, by the end of today is to uh, do some barn finds. That's going to take level 10. We are now level 8. Uh, that's a lot of XP away, but yeah, let's get some jobs in here and see if we can actually get to it. All right, so we're going to hold off on the story job. Uh, there's some body work that needs to be done here. I think I need some unlocks for that, and also I'm very low money, so I just want to earn some money right now. I'm really focused on brake jobs because I have that new station that can repair brakes for free. So yeah, we have brake problems, loud exhaust problems with not discovered, so this will be a little bit of a harder job, but we get 25% credits, which would be great. Uh, right now, we know we need to change the alternator, so I think we will do that, and then hopefully it will start. All right, so take off the belt. I don't know if I need to lift this. Oh, I don't? Sweet. We don't even need to put it on the lift. So that is an easy job. I doubt I can repair the alternator, but just checking. It doesn't actually say with each part I can repair. Um, so I need Renovator 4 for that. The fact that you can repair, that's actually amazing. We are nowhere near Renovator 4, unfortunately, yet. So we'll just have to buy it. All right, and that's a $200 part. So yeah, when we can repair things like that, we're going to earn so much more money. So I'm getting down that list as quickly as I possibly can. All right, and a quick test will hopefully ID the rest of these problems. If not, we have the tools to find out. Yeah, at least found the brake related issues. Oh, we actually do have one brake problem not discovered, so that'll be fun to find. And loud exhaust, we still don't know. Ah, uh, catalytic converters, one. Okay, good thing I did an OBD scan. Let's do the old examine on the exhaust. There's one middle muffler and rear muffler. Okay, so we just had to examine. I'm going to examine the rest of this just for the XP. All right, I got everything I needed to take off. Uh, I'm just looking for that one part we don't know. Problem with a car like this is it's a rust bucket already. So generally, you just look for the rusty part. Not the easiest when everything is rusty. I mean, that shock absorber is looking pretty bad. So that's generally how I do it. I just look for parts that are bad, but 40% probably isn't enough. So let's just repair the parts that we know we have to change. So I know one of the brake disc ventilators needs to be repaired. So we'll do that first. Uh, probably this 28% one. And this is why this tool is so amazing. I just let it go. It grinds that rust all off. And uh, hopefully we'll have a perfect brake disc when we're done. Now the calipers, I believe I can do on the workbench. And yes, indeed, I can. Before we do that, let me check what percentage we need uh, to get to. Because we don't want to get any higher. Because we do have the chance of breaking these parts. So all they want is a minimum condition of 39%. So that should be one repair job. Assuming we don't royally screw up. So find anything below that. 28. Start repairing. And done. Oh, this is going to be a hard one. Got it. Okay. Whew. I think that should be good. How's the ventilated disc doing? That's looking a hell of a lot better. So we'll remove that. And just like that, three of the biggest parts for this job were totally free for me to do. So that just means more money in the bank for me. So yeah, before we put it back together, obviously we got to find this one part. And I just got to do it by taking everything off and IDing it. I was hoping it'd be the rubber bushings that are kind of hidden. Oh, you know what I didn't think about? What about ABS? Because that's part of the brake system, and oftentimes that's broken. Oh, is it it? Oh, you bastard! It is it! I thought there was a way to test that. There is. 
All right, well, I'm I'm pretty proud of myself for thinking about that before taking a, apart the whole suspension because that's going to save me a lot of time. I'm almost certain the ABS pump is the issue. It's very, very rusty. It is it. Oh, my God. I'm so proud of myself right now. Okay, so the ABS pump is what we needed. I doubt I can repair that, but obviously we should check. Oh, my God. I can repair it. Okay, I, I almost didn't even think about coming over here because generally with these complex parts, I'm not high enough yet. This is huge. This is going to be a big ticket item and done. Ooh, that was close, actually. All right, there we go. So what do we get? Like three or four parts totally fixed for free? This should be a big payday for me. Okay, and we should be done now. There we go. Wow, 6,219. I know I was in the fours when we started this, so that job alone gave us over 1,000. Generally, jobs only gave me like 200 before, well, this shop upgrade, so... It's going to be a hell of a lot easier to fly through the upgrades now. Let's get uh, one more job in. You know what? Should we try this bolt horn? I want to see if I can do body parts. I don't know much about the body repair. We can always buy the upgrades if we need to. Oh, man. Let's check out the issues here. Okay, we got a lot of parts not discovered. I doubt this will even start, but these are the kind of jobs that I like to do. Yeah, the engine can't be started, so we're going to have to test things first, see if we can find any issues. Chances are our tools should find the vast majority of them anyways. There we go. I already have a bad ignition coil. A lot of spark plugs. Pretty Every spark plug, pretty much. Okay, there's the majority of our issues there. Okay, this shouldn't be too bad, I don't think. Engine's looking pretty good besides one very bad camshaft, so we are going to have to open it up course we got to examine as well uh this should hopefully find the vast majority of the rest of the parts we might have to uh dig in there though and just take off part by part until we find the issues this thing getting a crash man it's got the weirdest things that are broken on it they're pretty much everywhere and usually it's one area that's really damaged this one pretty much i'm gonna have to take off every type of system um and pretty much strip this car we still have quite a few parts not discovered as well so that's fun hopefully when we fix these maybe it will actually start so we can find the rest that or i don't know if we should just strip everything right now to find the parts okay i think that's it for the engine um yeah we had to get pretty deep into it i don't know if i should just open it up at this point i think it probably would be smart just to see if we can find any other issues in there Instead of putting it all back together and having to take it apart again. Alright, taking off the oil pan. Let's see. What's it look like in there? Oh, it's clean. Okay. Um, should I take apart the rest? I honestly don't see how that would be worth it. The inside of the engine is actually remarkably clean. Mind you, the oil filter is not. We're going to put that on the list anyways. Well, we took apart the majority of the engine at least. I guess now it might make sense to open up the gearbox and see what that looks like. Because when it comes to IDing, I obviously can see the externals, but the internals uh, of things I generally can't ID unless I open them up. Obviously, the gearbox has a lot of internals, so it's always good to open this up if you do have the engine apart anyways. And God damn it, that looks clean too! I'm gonna go deeper just to make sure, but man, fi finding these parts might be fun. It might be something as simple as like bushings, though. Actually, what what what, what do the bushings look like? Um, generally, if there's one bad, they're all bad. You bastards! I mean, I can't complain though. That's an easy item to change and a cheap item to buy. So yeah, it's looking like rubber bushings are going to be the major culprit after all. I'm gonna say that drive axle probably bad. Yep, I already put it on the list because I assumed it was. Uh, is that wheel hub good? I'm gonna say it's not. Let's throw it on the list. We gotta take the rear drive axle out. This side looks better than the other. Yeah, that one's good. Well, this, see, this is what I'm talking about. This car's weird. Generally, if one's bad, the other is. Not with this. Wheel hub three. Yeah, that's obviously something we need to repair. I mean, this whole side of the car, I should just, you know, strip and buy new because it's that bad. I can't believe the solid axle control arm is something I need to change. I've never had that. Leaf spring plate. Take it off. And there we go. That's going to be an expensive part. Um, we still have the spring that we need to get out. Or should I say the spring cap? Uh, is that everything? I've taken off everything that I know is wrong. These shocks look amazing. I'm not even going to bother with those. Um, let's actually check our list now and see how we're doing. We should actually should be doing pretty good. I got them all? Oh my god. I I'm a freaking natural. Okay. I honestly didn't expect to have them all, obviously. The only other thing we need to do is change the front bumper there is a body repair station very tempting because it's so cheap 
Uh, let's buy everything first to see if I even have enough credits because I would hate to run out of that. Let's also see if we can repair any of this stuff. Unfortunately, no brake pads today, so none, none of that, but we should be able to use the repair table for some of this. Ooh, actually looking at the percentages here. Is there nothing I can repair? Oh, never mind. I lied. Woohoo. We can repair the spring cap. There we go. Damn it. Um, 44%. That might not be high enough, actually. I don't know what with this one. 76? Man, you are a picky individual. Okay, well, we should be able to repair it again. That, so that's how this works. Basically, you get a percentage back every time you repair. And you just have to get it within what they want. It's not that hard to do. There we go. We got a 96% now. I think everything else, unfortunately, we are buying. So that sucks, man. All right, we actually have a lot left over. So just because we can, I doubt this will work here. But we are going to buy the body repair shop. Hopefully it's worth it. Uh, I mean, we're going to need it sooner or later. So I'm just buying as much as I can. Ooh, this is cool. Um, Damn it. So how does that work? Is this new? Repair table body. Oh, that's part of it. Unfortunately, uh, none of this is working for me. Okay, we have a Bolt Hornet here that I can buy the front bumper off. Is that all I need? I think that's how we do it. That's kind of cool that you have to find a car that has the part, though. Um, God, I hope I did that right. I've never bought any of the body panels before. Yeah, okay, so that one's just damaged. Why can I not repair that one, though? I thought it was maybe because I needed to paint it and I needed the paint shop, but I guess that's not it. Maybe I need to go up higher in the tech tree as well because all it does is group parts into a number. I don't know where that number is shown. Sometimes if it's too damaged to you, you just cannot repair it, and being that that's 5%, I, that's probably the issue. So, a little bit of a bummer we didn't get to use that station, but that's fine. We have everything I, we need, I think, for this, so we're going to put it back together and hopefully have a pretty big payday anyways. probably one of my most complex jobs hopefully it should be a pretty good payday now assuming i put everything back together we should be good here Let's make sure we have enough oil in it perfect uh yeah generally i forget things so this should be fun car incomplete fuel pump missing from car yeah you know what you kind of need one of those to be fair that's one i almost always forget because it's kind of off on its own so that's a good sign anything else hey not bad one thing missing and how am I only at 6,000 credits? So that just goes to show how important these workshop items are. Uh, last job, we earned over 1,000. Did I lose money that job? Did I buy too many things? So no, I actually, uh, I had these from other jobs that you guys miss. Um, I guess I did buy one too many wheel hubs, but that's a huge bummer. That is not, I didn't earn anything that freaking job. God, that was a hard job, too. Let's hope so there's something good in the case here. G give me some money. Oh, well, I'll take a barn map location and a bonus case. Bonus XP. Bonus case? All right, bonus credits. Bonus case? <laughs> Sorry, this is insane. <laughs> Come on, let's keep the bonus cases going. Oh, well, I can't complain with two barn maps in one case. Um, Yeah, we'll add that. I can't wait to do the barn finds. We did hit le level 9. Level 10, we will be able to do those barn finds. All right, so let's get back to the old jobs here. Um, What the hell? Did you roll this? Oh, do I have to do body work? I hope I do because we have that new body station. The only reason I picked this is because it said it needed brake work, so I didn't even think about body-related items. Okay, no, it, it, it doesn't want body work done, so it just wants to be... Oh my god, this is insane. I wonder, just out of curiosity, I want to see if I can maybe work on these. 
Oh, and I bought this way too early. So I need Renovator 6 to even use any of the body station. All right, well, that's a bit of a bummer, but I did just realize that I do have that one unlocked, and I this one costs five. We have two right now, so it seems like we're getting more XP per level up now, so we should hopefully get to that pretty soon here. Well, I found the one issue. The exhaust issue was the exhaust pipe. I don't think this will make the car run. Uh, I think a car should be able to run without an exhaust pipe, but maybe this is actually what, what it needed. Um, I just don't want to have to manually check all the um, brake-related re issues. I know if I can take it to the test track, it should be good to go, but I don't think... Yeah, the engine can't be started because of brake issues? Okay, I did forget the oil filter, so maybe that's the issue. That one's pretty freaking bad. God damn it, that was it. All right, well, I guess I can't complain. Now we should get the majority of the brakes fixed. I also love that I'm driving this with no body on it. Oh, uh, yeah, she's looking great out here. Definitely uh, very easy to maneuver this car because it's so freaking light. I'm just taking a shortcut at this point. Okay, and that should be the majority of the issues there. The fun part is those things can be uh, fixed for free. All right, so there we go. We took everything off. Now, hopefully they're not destroyed to the point where I can't repair them. We should be okay. Oh, I jinxed it. I freaking jinxed it. They're too destroyed to repair. So they get to, I think if they're in the red zone, you can't actually repair. That's huge. That sucks. Because now I got to spend money and I'm not going to earn much money. At least I can do the calipers, I guess. Um, mind you, that's a 75% one. That's probably the one that I don't need to fix because I took one off to get to the brake pad. Yeah, unfortunately, the, the one that I do need to fix is 7%. Oh, I do have one I can repair. Yay, we at least have one. Uh, I don't know what I need to get it to. These are so easy, though. I'm just going to do another one. Oh, that was close. I almost failed. But yeah, it's not much, but at least we got something repaired for free. Uh, I think that's everything besides, obviously, the body panels. And yeah, at least we learned with the body panels, we're going to have to wait a little bit to get that done. But that is something to look forward to in the very near future. All right, and there we go. That should be everything. There we go. That job is done. And yeah, it didn't pay us much, but I think it paid us more than the story job, which is freaking hilarious. All right, guys. And on that, I'm going to wrap up this episode of Car Mechanic Sim 2021 here. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, checking out some of the cool new tools. Unfortunately, we didn't get to use it as much as I hoped for, but brakes are probably the most common thing we have to repair. So getting that was huge. We have the repair table, which is obviously huge. And soon we'll be able to use the body table as well so yeah in the next episode we are very close to level 10 we'll definitely be doing some barn finding once we hit that because i'm very curious how that works and yeah thanks so much for your support guys thanks for watching and liking and i'll see you in the next one